When it comes to weather delays and closings, what comes first is the safety of our students and staff. Some snow decisions will be no-brainers. If we know for sure that we'll have dangerous weather, we might be able to make decisions the night before. More often than not, though, weather is unpredictable, and we have to wait until early morning to make a call. We aim to make all decisions about snow delays and closings by 5 a.m. Here's a process we use to do that. Our staff is out driving county roads by about 3.30 a.m. They report to our chief operating officer on whether buses and walkers will be able to get around safely. We also get real-time weather information, talk with county staff, and look at the conditions at our buildings and parking lots. Our chief operating officer calls the superintendent before 5 a.m. with a recommendation on whether to close or delay. The superintendent makes a final decision. Our communication staff then goes to work right away to get word out to the community. You can find decisions first on social media. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our webpage, fcps.org, and our TV channel are updated within about 10 minutes of a decision. We also send out Find Out First email and text messages to all of our subscribers. Our email servers can send out about 1,500 messages a minute. It can sometimes take then about 30 minutes or more for all 50,000 of our Find Out First subscribers to get their messages. At the same time, we also call about two dozen local media outlets. We also make sure FCPS employees have a color code to let them know whether to report to work. If we delay school rather than close, we'll follow up with more communications as needed. If the weather changes, we might have to close school early. That might impact extracurricular and after-school activities. If that happens, we'll let everyone know as soon as possible. We know there are strong opinions about weather decisions. We read every comment we get about our decisions to see how we can do things better in the future. More important, if parents believe conditions are unsafe where they live, they have the right to keep their children home. They're the ultimate decision makers for their children. So that's our process. Hopefully, we won't have to use it much this winter.